Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to the Mi Minecraft Snapshot Tour. And dogs barking. Um, it's Wednesday, September 9th, 2015. Wednesday is normally sh Snapshot Day. But Dinnerbone tweeted out this morning that the snapshot probably wouldn't get released because it was too unstable. So, we're still playing 15W36D, which was last week's, the end of last week's snapshot. I haven't played this on camera but I have played it a little bit so let's get started and you can probably hear the air conditioner going um, it is at nine o'clock at night it's still 95 degrees outside so I'm not turning it off all right so um, we've got our little setup here this has evolved a little bit so I've got a full enchanting setup I've got a little bit of storage brewing stand digging back a little bit to see what I can do to expand storage but this is a pretty cozy little setup for um, for a compact little uh, thing. I've got nether wart, I've got some potatoes, I've got some wheat. And outside, I've got some big trees, my wood wood supply. I've got the little uh, ruin, uh, or sorry, uh, smelter raider, and a uh, chicken cooker. Which is working pretty well. Um, oops. So yeah, so I've got plenty of food here, <coughs> pardon me, uh, sugar cane, some uh, pumpkins, lots of chickens. This is my XP farm at the moment, um, it's, it's really difficult to get uh, 30 levels without an actual XP farm. Cows, which is my leather farm, um, yeah, so one thing i want to show you oh had a little bit of creeper trouble so i'm reinforcing things a little bit i haven't really secured the area i haven't put uh, fencing around which i maybe want to do but yeah not too bad so one thing i want to show you there was a zombie swimming out there and i got a carrot the zombie died and he dropped a carrot which is pretty cool um so we are going to we are going to plant ourselves some carrots. Uh, we need carrots for the brewing. So, um, so I'm going to take over a row here and plant myself some carrots. So this will take a little bit of time, but we can get started here. Woohoo! Three carrots. So. I got eight carrots, which is exactly one. Oh no, I got leftovers. Awesome. So we can combine this with some gold and make ourselves some uh, potions. We can make ourselves some uh, um, hmm. night vision potions, of course, with the gold or with the fermented spider eye. We can make ourselves a uh, invisibility potion. Which might come in handy. So we're going to do go ahead and uh, do some of that. Um, I'm going to do this right now because we need. Oh, we don't need, but um, last time, of course, I went on a on a on a journey searching for a village, and it did not go well. Died horribly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I need sugar? I may need sugar. Um. Maybe I need some sugar. Sugar. Spider eye. And. Oh. Oh, only need one. Okay, I don't need the red mushroom. Fermented spider eye. Awkward potion. Go in there. Oh, 
honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Trying to make a weakness potion. Um, because I want to go out and trap myself some, oops, some zombies, zombie villagers, and uh, turn them into villagers. So let's try this again. And we can put these up here. Awkward potions are always handy. Do this. And, oops. Do this. Do some water. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. <clears throat> That'll work. <coughs> so, that's kind of a long term long-term thing uh, what else what else is new not much I've been mostly resource gathering notice I've got 31 levels um, kept dying which was tough so I ended up doing a lot of just grindy grindy uh, stuff weakness potion woohoo okay make it a splash potion and then we'll be ready you have I think sufficient gold to make a golden apple and we can uh, go out and trap ourselves uh, spend some time out in the dark with the zombie villagers all right so we take those I'm just gonna stash them up here for now and we will we'll work on that later don't need it right now um, in the meantime there's one other thing I wanted to show you Oh, while we're here, um, we're going to take these and um, do that. We got that. We don't need this. And you are okay, but. We have, what was it going to do? We were going to make, oh, that's right. So let's, uh, let's grab some, some of this and let's see what enchant we get on our boots. Diamond boots, unbreaking three, okay. What do we get? What do we get? Protection four, unbreaking three. I'm happy with that. Slip those puppies on. See how we're doing. They look pretty snazzy. There's a screenshot right there. Awesome. Okay. So we can put these other boots back in here. And they may come in handy. I still have 28 levels. So let's... uh. worried about this uh, pickaxe I don't want it to break and let's see how expensive is it gonna be to repair it's still a little early so I got 400 oh three okay I'll take that all right I want to show you something this is pretty funny <coughs> so we uh, a couple episodes ago which I haven't uploaded yet but uh, we will that will be uploading soon. Whoa, the leg spikes are just insane. Okay, all the piggies loaded? I guess so. Hey guys, oh, magma cube. Don't hear any, any ghasts? Come on, dude, come at me. Magma cream, I need this. Oh, we need that too. Okay. Get rid of these guys. This is good experience. As long as the experience balls don't burn up in the lava. All right. So that's good. We can make some more fire potions. Okay. So we went over there quite a ways to find ourselves a nether fortress um, I went that way because 
the fortresses tend to be laid out on north-south strips and there's not much there I see you yet okay um, and, uh, and so if you if you go east or west typically you will end up running into a fortress just because you're more likely to run into one of the strips and that's what we did but I was running around exploring this a little bit and found something interesting you can probably guess what it is I should probably grab some of these mushrooms so I can make more of those fermented spider eyes not that I have a lot of spider eyes but look at that that looks a lot like a fortress, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I should have probably brought some ladders. Anyway, um, so let's let's see what we can do here. Um, I don't. Uh, we have to break in, but these things tend to be solid. Oops. Um. Hmm. Let's use some of this another brick to reinforce this. Hmm. This isn't ideal, but fire on another rack probably Ooh. there's some nether fence okay oh that's that's the walkway oh is this the same Is this the same fortress that just comes this far over? Oh my gosh. That's kind of embarrassing. Hey, Magma Cubes. Yes, this is the same place I was. This is just a much quicker way to get there. Okay. And obviously it goes off this way. I thought... Oh, it ends over here. <laughs> wow. Over a ocean of lava. Okay, well, this is uh, this is good. This is more convenient. So yeah, this fortress isn't super huge, but it's nice. Hey, dude, come on over. I could use some more magma cream. Oh. So one thing I noticed. And I, I, I posted about this on the uh, the website, the minecraftmaker.com website, which mostly is just a, a blog with the video posts. Uh, but so I figured out why I've been dying so much. And it's because you can't walk up to, uh, you can't, oh, this was dumb. I'll oh, shoot. You can't just walk up to a mob at super close range, spam them with the sword, and expect to do a lot of damage. You need a little bit of sp space for your sword to swing. So you notice that there's this sort of swinging uh, animation, this sort of swipe animation, that seems to be when you're at optimal distance, it seems to indicate you're like, it's almost like a critical hit. Um, on the on the mob when you're at the right distance and it maximizes the number of hearts that uh, and when you get it you also get that sort of area effect where it can uh, it can affect more than one mob at a time which is cool but you need to have a little bit of space you can't just walk up to a mob point blank range and just spam the sword and expect expect it to uh, to work and I think that's really good. 
I think it uh, it basically means you have to have a little bit of strategy. You can't just run up to run up the things, span the sword, and expect to win. Um, and it's interesting that there's a couple of UHC seasons going on right now, where they're using the 1.9 snapshots with the UHC, and I'm curious to see. I'm a little behind on my videos on my video subscriptions on YouTube. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how that affects the combat. Um, I think it I think it improves things quite a bit. It makes it means that if you aren't smart about things, even simple like zombies can become very dangerous, which I think is good. Um, it means it requires a little bit more skill to uh, to survive. And it makes it so that you can get overwhelmed by mobs like, uh, like zombies and skeletons. Huh. So I've got this lit up pretty well, so I'm not getting any blazes spawning. I've got five magma cream. Let's see if we can get some more. Hey, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a blaze. Okay, that's that's not good. So let's go away. So, anyway, I'm going to flatten out this a bit and see if I can turn it into a bit of a nether, like a wither skull farm. But, uh, I think this is, uh, this is good. So I have, I have a quicker access to, oh, interesting. Okay. I have, I now have good quicker access to the, uh, the nether fortress is good so anyway that's that's a that's a brief update uh, I want to show the carrot and the and what I thought was another nether fortress obviously it's just a another part of the same nether fortress which is fine um, since I've already kind of conquered it it was a little disappointing that there weren't any good loot chests in there although I did find some nether wart without having to um, actually get through the nether wart room so there may still be some some loot to be had inside the fortress but hey this works I should probably do something about that lava flow so anyway and there's my little there's my little uh, hut so I think I'm gonna call that an episode and because uh, we've been going on I'd ideally keep these shorter than the 40, 30, 40 minutes that I have been doing. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. And hopefully, we'll have some uh, have some more carrots. All right. See you later. Bye.